The third type of natural selection is disruptive selection. So for disruptive selection, this selection will favor two extreme phenotype and select against intermediate phenotype. Maksudnya kita pilih dua extreme phenotype tapi kita tak nak intermediate phenotype. Okay? So uh, when we select both extreme phenotype, so means that the extreme phenotypes will have greater survival and reproductive success. So for the intermediate phenotype, because we does not select them or does not Or, or we select against intermediate phenotype. So, this phenotype will gradually decrease in number and may become extinct. Okay. And then, disruptive selection will increase the chance of the advantageous element to be passed on to the next generation. And then, the main population partitioning into two distinct phenotypic groups. Okay, so disebabkan kita memilih dua extreme group tadi menyebabkan uh, dia partitioning ataupun dia terpisah menjadi dua part yang berbeza. Satu extreme belah sini, lagi satu extreme, satu extreme sebelah kiri, satu lagi extreme sebelah kanan. Okay, so uh, apa yang berlaku bila terpisah dua extreme ni, dia akan menyebabkan ada two sub population. Okay. So, daripada sepatutnya one population okay, original population so menyebabkan tiba-tiba ada dua sub population within the original population initially. Okay. So, kalau kita tengok uh, graf dekat sini uh, apa yang berlaku adalah untuk disruptive selection uh, kita akan um, Select against the intermediate group. So, kita boleh nampak untuk original population yang dotted line ni. Bila kita tekan tengah intermediate group, kita akan menyebabkan um, uh, two extreme group yang akan meningkat. So, satu belah sini, satu lagi sebelah kanan. So, dalam case ni, uh, kita boleh nampak untuk disruptive selection, we will favor two extreme group and then uh, we will select against the intermediate group. Okay. Uh, so, boleh nampaklah dekat situ. Okay. So, kita tengok explanation untuk disruptive selection. Uh, occur when environmental condition fluctuate between two opposite extreme group. Okay, so untuk disruptive selection, dia berlaku pada environment yang dia punya keadaan uh, uh, pada satu-satu masa memilih satu extreme, pada satu-satu masa memilih another extreme. So, di antara dua extreme tersebut lah. Okay, uh, so dia punya environmental condition fluctuate between two extreme values. Okay. So, apa yang berlaku uh, disebabkan keadaan ni, disruptive selection will favor both the extreme phenotype and act against the intermediate phenotype. Okay, disebabkan berlakunya fluctuation between the two opposite extreme values. And then, the two extreme phenotype are separated and the gene pool may become split into two distinct gene pools. Ataupun kita boleh kata uh, the two extreme phenotype are separated uh, and causes two subpopulation to be formed. Okay. Uh, akan terbentuk subpopulation within the original population initially. Okay. And then disruptive selection will increase genetic variability in the population and it may lead to formation of new species. Uh, so, uh, untuk disruptive selection, dia sama macam directional selection. It will lead to formation of new species. But for the first selection uh, which is stabilizing, it will not lead to uh, formation of new species. So, example given in your syllabus about disruptive selection is big size and shape uh, of Galapagos finches. Uh, finches ni adalah sejenis burung. Okay? Uh, Galapagos ni adalah satu kawasan uh, island. Okay? Kita panggil uh, Galapagos Island lah. <coughs> so, uh, apa yang berlaku adalah kita akan tengok uh, finches, uh, burung ni punya paruh, big size dan juga shape. So, uh, kita tengok sikit description. In the Galapagos Archipelago, the finches ataupun the birds are either with big size beak, 
uh, which we call as an extreme phenotype and another one is small size big extreme another extreme phenotype so ada dua extreme phenotype dekat uh, dekat kawasan uh, Galapagos Island okay uh, another phenotype adalah intermediate phenotype which is medium size big Uh, so kita boleh kata finches dekat kawasan Galapagos untuk uh, disruptive selection ni ada tiga jenis uh, big size and shape. Uh, the first one tadi big size big. Susah juga nak sebut. <laughs> okay. The second one adalah small size big. And the third one which is the intermediate phenotype adalah medium size big. Okay so semua orang dah tahu ada tiga jenis. And then after that adalah Uh, at that time, plants in the island produce large and hard seed. Okay, ada sesetengah pokok, spesies pokok, dia akan produce large and hard seed. Uh, and then another plants, another plant species akan produce small and soft seed. So, kita ada dua jenis seed lah, large and hard seed and small and soft seed. So, apa yang berlaku adalah uh, three types of finches tadi with three types of big size and shape, they all compete to get the seed, to get the large and hard seed and to get the small and soft seed. So, kamu rasa siapa yang akan dapat makan? Well, uh, disebabkan uh, pokok dekat kawasan tu menghasilkan large and hard seed, so of course, Uh, the big size big finches could feed on the large and hard seed. What about the small and soft seed? Uh, so the small and soft seed uh, can be eaten by small size big finches. So what happened to the medium size uh, big finches? So for the medium uh, size big finches, they can't... Uh, survive in that uh, environment because they have difficulty to feed on the large and hard seed and also they have difficulty to find the small and soft seed okay due to uh, the big size is medium uh, so kita boleh nampak dekat sini apa yang berlaku adalah nature memilih dua extreme group untuk survive tetapi dia menekan satu intermediate group which is the medium size big finches okay so lama-lama apa -lama, berlaku kalau intermediate fin, uh, intermediate phenotype tu tak uh, which is the finches tak boleh makan uh, so dia akan eliminated from the population okay kalau dia decide untuk stay dekat environment tersebut dia akan matilah will not survive sebab dia tak makan okay but if the finches uh, that have Uh, intermediate phenotype decide to go to another uh, places that favor dia punya character yes dia boleh survive so dalam kes ni kita nampak disruptive selection uh, the environment choose or select both extreme and uh, select against intermediate phenotype okay uh, the second example of disruptive selection adalah phalanx okay Uh, bulu lah uh, Bulu ok So yang ini saya rasa kamu boleh baca sendiri Ini bukan main example untuk disruptive selection uh, So main example tadi yang um, Big size and shapes of Galapagos fin finches Finches tu refer pada burung Ok that's all for disruptive selection